So let's get into the fun stuff. Right? Fun stuff? Huh? Yeah. Woo! All right, that's a fun one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with uh, when we're doing substitution, remember all we're going to simply be doing is substituting the value of one variable into the other equation. So when we look at this, it says x equals negative 4y. Okay? So what they're saying is, if I say x equals negative 4y, on my next equation, rather than rewriting that, rather than using x, I can substitute in negative 4y. Why can I substitute negative 4y? Because negative 4y is equal to x, meaning they're equivalent, right? It doesn't matter which one you use. They're, they equal the same thing. So I'm going to substitute in this negative 4y in for x. And let's see what this looks like. I'll have 3 times a negative 4y plus 2y equals 20. It's very important to put it around parentheses so I will notice that that's what you did, and then you will see it. Yes? Why are you putting the y where the x needs to be? Very good question. So the reason why I'm doing this is because do you notice that when I do that, I have the same variable in the equation? And when you have the same variable for in the equation, you can find the value of that variable. So that's why we're doing it. Because I want to find, when I'm solving a system, remember when we did the graphing? We found the value of x and we found the value of y, right? Well, guys, if you just solve for x and y, look at The value of x has y in the answer. So I'm not getting a number answer, right? When I say x equals, y is in the answer. I don't want y to be in the answer. I want to get y equals this number and x equals this number. So when I'm doing this, you want to get your same variable in the equation. That's why you substitute in the other what, what one of your variables equals in, to, in for that variable. So now what I have to do is simplify. 3 times negative 4 is a negative 12y plus 2y equals 20. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a variable on the same side, we combine like terms. Negative 12y plus 2y is a negative 10y equals 20, divide by negative 10, y equals a negative 2. So therefore, y equals a number, right? I got my negative 2. But it says solve, I, the problem says solve the system. That means I want to find the x and the y. So if I know that y equals negative 2, I can now plug in negative 2 for my value of y. Now, a lot of students want to plug it into this equation. Which you can, but it's just going to take a little bit more math. It's a lot easier to plug it into this equation because you're already solved for x. So now I can write, if y equals negative 2, x equals negative 4 times y, which is negative 2. So therefore, x equals negative 4 times negative 2, which is a positive 8. So you can write your coordinate point as 8 comma negative 2. Got it? Yeah. Okay, Andy, uh, Mark, uh, 